Have you ever pondered over the celestial bodies that twinkle above us, and wondered how stars generate such massive amounts of energy? Well, the answer lies in an extraordinary process known as hydrogen fusion, that occurs in the heart of these luminous orbs. Hydrogen fusion, often referred to as hydrogen burning, is a nuclear fusion process where four protons merge to form a helium-4 nucleus. This term, however, shouldn't be mistaken for the chemical combustion of hydrogen in an oxidizing atmosphere. There are two primary processes by which hydrogen fusion takes place in stars, the proton-proton chain and the carbon-nitrogen-oxygen, or CNO cycle. With the exception of white dwarfs, these two mechanisms fuel 90% of all stars. In the cores of smaller, lower-mass main-sequence stars, such as our Sun, the dominant process is the proton-proton chain reaction. This process initiates with the fusion of two protons to create a deuterium nucleus, along with an ejected positron and neutrino. Through a sequence of reactions, a helium-4 nucleus is eventually formed. For each complete fusion cycle, the proton-proton chain reaction releases an energy of about 26.2 million electron volts. This process is relatively indifferent to temperature, meaning that a 10% rise in temperature would only increase energy production by 46%. Therefore, this hydrogen fusion process can take place in up to a third of the star's radius and involve half of the star's mass. However, for more massive stars, the dominant energy production process is the CNO cycle. This cycle uses nuclei of carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen as intermediaries, ultimately producing a helium nucleus, just like the proton-proton chain. The CNO cycle is quite sensitive to temperature. A 10% rise in temperature could lead to a staggering 350% increase in energy production. This cycle is concentrated at the core, resulting in an intense outward energy flux that makes convective energy transfer more significant than radiative transfer. This results in a convection zone in the core region, which stirs the hydrogen fusion region and keeps it well mixed with the surrounding proton-rich region. The type of hydrogen fusion process that dominates in a star is determined by the temperature dependency differences between the two reactions. The proton-proton chain reaction commences at temperatures about 4 million Kelvin, making it the dominant fusion mechanism in smaller stars. The CNO chain, on the other hand, requires a much higher temperature of approximately 16 million Kelvin. However, once it gets going, it becomes more efficient as the temperature rises, compared to the proton-proton reaction. In conclusion, the energy production in stars is a fascinating process. It primarily revolves around the process of hydrogen fusion, involving either the proton-proton chain or the CNO cycle. These processes occurring in the deep cores of stars are responsible for the intense light and heat that stars emit, enabling life to exist on planets like our Earth. Understanding these mechanisms not only helps us comprehend the workings of stars, but also the intricate dynamics of our universe.